Hello, this is Al Red Sox fan coming to you from Al Red Sox fan YouTube station, and we're going to bring you another game using Digital Diamond Baseball 1978 <coughs> Retro Replay opening day for the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. And in the chat, we have Moderator Extraordinaire Broke Black Man 94. Hope all is well, aka David the Saint. He said, Yankees, as always, will and must win. So, let's quickly go over the Yankee and Rangers starting lineups here. But first, make sure to check out Broke Black Man 94's YouTube channel. It does wonderful TV and movie reviews. And all you have to do is type in Broke Black Man 94. Or go to my channel under featured channels and click on it anyway very lucky to have my moderator extraordinaire david the saint broke black man 94 all right on to the game the yankee starting lineup batting first playing second base willie randolph Batting second, playing center field, Mickey Rivers. Batting third, the designated hitter, Thurman Munson. Batting fourth, Mr. October, the right fielder, Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Sweet Lou Pinella. Batting sixth, doing the catching, Cliff Johnson. Batting seventh, the first baseman, Chris Shambliss. Batting eighth, the Gold Glove third baseman, Greg Nettles. And batting ninth, basically a very bad word if you're a Red Sox fan. The shortstop, Bucky Dent. For the hometown Texas Rangers, who I will be managing. Batting first, the Human Rain Delay. The first baseman, Mike Hargrove. Batting second, the shortstop, Bert Campanares. Batting third, the left fielder, Al Oliver. Batting fourth, right fielder, Richie Zisk. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Toby Hera. Batting sixth, the designated hitter, Kurt Bavacqua. Batting seventh, the center fielder, Juan Benitez. Batting eighth, the second baseman, Bump Wills. Batting ninth, and doing the catching, Jim Sunberg. On the mound for the Yankees, Ron Guidry, and in 1978, he had a magnificent year. 25 wins and only 3 losses. His ERA was under 2. It was 1.74. Opposing Ron Guidry is also a left-handed throwing pitcher, John Matlack. He had 15 wins and 13 losses. He also had a fine ERA, 2.27. So this will be a pitcher's duel from Texas. Yes, we're still a bit salty about Babe Ruth, Broke Black Man 94. So here we go. Leading off, Willie Randolph, he steps to the plate to face the left-handed throwing John Matlack. He will need a 6-2-6 six -six or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch by Matlack. The dice roll. And Randolph will strike out. That's a 0-1-1. Goes down looking. One away and Mick the quick. Mickey Rivers steps to the plate. Lefty-lefty matchup here. Rivers, the Yankee center fielder. He needs a 7-4-4 or better to reach base safely. The windup and the pitch by Matlack. That's a 3-8-2 out category to Hargrove. And he makes the catch on the line drive. Two outs. Thurman Munson steps to the plate. He is the designated hitter today, as Cliff Johnson is doing the catching. Munson needs a 6-6-3 to reach base safely. The higher the number, the better the result. Here's the pitch to Munson. The dice roll. 7-2-4. That's going to be a single into right field. Richie Zisk retrieves the ball and throws it back in. 
So Munson's at first. Not really a threat to steal there, in my opinion. In the dangerous Mr. October, Reggie Jackson steps to the plate. Power hitting right fielder, left-handed bat. Lefty lefty matchup here. Jackson needs a 7-1-3 to reach base safely. And if you're thinking about a home run for Mr. October, he needs a 9-7-8 or better. The windup and the pitch to Jackson. Munson at first. The dice roll. That's a 2-5-2. Jackson strikes out. And that's a swing and the miss. The inning's over. No runs, one hit, one man left on base. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. Rangers coming up, due up for the Rangers. Hargrove, Campaneris, and Oliver. The reason why they called Mike Hargrove the human rain delay was he took forever to get in the batter's box and would step out a lot. He was probably one of the first baseball players to really take his time going in and out of the batter's box between pitches. So he will face Ron Gidry here, lefty-lefty matchup. Hargrove needs a 7-4-9 or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch from Louisiana Lightning, Ron Gidry. And that ball goes out to left field to Lou Pinella. Let's see if he can make the play. And he does. Nice catch by Sweet Lou. One away. Burt Campanera steps to the plate. Righty lefty matchup here. Campaneris needs a 7 2 4 to reach safely. Gidry delivers. Here's the, that's a dice roll of 4 8 7. That's going out to center field to Mickey Rivers. And Rivers is there for the catch. Two outs. Two outs, no one on. Al Oliver. Rangers left fielder steps to the plate. And in 1978, Oliver hit 324. And off left handed pitching, 296. Oliver needs a 7-7-5 to reach base safely. Remember, the higher the dice roll after 7-7-5, the better the result. Here's the pitch. That's a 4-2-3 out category to Reggie Jackson and right. That's a deep fly ball, and Jackson makes the catch. Inning over. 1-2-3 go the Rangers. After one, no score. Due up for the Yankees. Pinella, Johnson, and Shambliss. So Lou Pinella steps to the plate. 1978, he had a fine year. He hit 314. And off left-handed pitching, he hit 316. Pinella needs a 680 or better to reach safely. And once again, the higher the number, the better the result can be. As you can see, there's a range here. Matlack sets and delivers to Pinella. We await the dice roll. That's an 8-4-8, eight, eight, and that's a single into right field. So a leadoff single, a leadoff single for Lou Pinella. Pinella, not a threat to steal. Cliff Johnson steps to the plate. Johnson had a tough year in 1978. He only hit 184. He will need a 6-9-6 six, six or better to reach base safely. No outs. Pinello's at first. Matlack delivers the pitch. Pinello's attempting to steal. Doesn't get good, a good lead. He'll stay put. Johnson rolls a three, a four, three, nine out category, and Zisk makes the catch in right field. One away, and Chris Shambliss steps to the plate. Shambliss needs a 6 8 7 or better to reach base safely. Matlack gets the sign. He sets and delivers to Shambliss. Here's the dice roll. Once again, Pinella attempts to steal, but he'll have to stay put. Doesn't get the dice roll for that. And that's a 6 0 oh, 7 out category to Mark Hargrove. It's a pop up. Hargrove calls for it. He makes the catch. So, there's two outs. Pinella still at first. Greg Nettle steps to the plate, the eighth place Yankee hitter. He needs a 714 or better to reach safely. 
If you're thinking home run, Nettles needs a 9-8-1 or better. Here's the windup and the pitch to Nettles. Again, Pinella tries to steal. Can't get the proper lead. He'll stay put. It's a 3-7-8 out category to Campanaris at short. Ground ball. Campanaris makes an error. He boots the ball. That should have been the third out of the inning. The Yankees are in business here with two outs. Pinella's at second. Nettles is at first. Matlack should be out of this inning. And now the ninth place hitter, Bucky Dent, steps to the plate, hoping to make the Rangers pay for that mistake. Dent needs a 7-2-5 or better to reach safely. But if he gets a 7-5-2 or better, that's definitely going to score Pinella because that will be a single, and Pinella will, will be off and running on contact, both runners, because there are two outs. Here's the windup and the pitch to Bucky Dent. That's a 9-9-1. That's going to be a double in the left field. That could possibly score two runs here. And now they roll for the extra. And Pinella scores from second. Nettle scores from first. Two nothing Yankees on the two out double by Bucky Dent. Clutch hit. And Red Sox fans know that oh too well. Top of the order, Willie Randolph. Randolph needs a 626 to reach safely, and once again he wants a 753 or better to knock in Dent from second. Two outs. Dent will be going on contact. The windup and the pitch from John Matlack. That's a 400 out category to Toby Hara at third. High hopper. Hara throws to Hargrove. Inning over, but damage done on the two out double by Bucky Dent. We go to the second. The Yankees lead 2-2-0. Leading off for the Rangers, their fourth place hitter, Richie Zisk. In 1978, he hit left-handed pitching at a 275 clip. That's not bad at all. Let's see what he can do against Louisiana Lightning Ron Guidry. Zisk needs a 697 or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch from Guidry. That's a 3-5-0 out category to Bucky Dent. Hard ground ball. He throws over to Shambliss for out number one. Once again, if, even if the dice roll lands in the out category, most of the time it will be an out. But there are a couple of things. There's an error rating and a range rating. So we do have to wait and hold our breath to see what will happen. Toby Harris steps to the plate. One away. Rangers third baseman. Needs a 682 or better to reach safely. Here's the pitch to Hera. That's a 937. That's going to be a single in the left field. First hit of the game for the Rangers. Hera is definitely a threat to steal here. He has a 30 he needs a 390 or better to get a proper lead. And then he needs under 800 to steal the base. So we're going to attempt to steal here. So the first roll is for the lead. And he does not get it, so he'll have to stay put. The dice roll of 900 is way too high. So at the plate now, Kurt Bavakwa, the Texas designated hitter. One away, Hare is at first. Bavakwa needs a 7-5-3 or better to reach base safely. Gidry delivers. And he walks. Bavakwa works a walk, so first and second here for the Rangers. I'm sorry, that was... What was that? It is a walk. Okay. Juan Beniquez steps to the plate. Harris at second, Pavacqua at first. Beniquez needs a 7-5-3 to reach base safely or better. He'd really like a 7-7-9 seven, seven, or higher to knock in Hera from second. Gidry in a little bit of trouble here in the bottom of the second. Here's the pitch to Juan Beniquez. That's a 2-3-2. That ball is hit to Bucky Dent. Hard ground ball. Let's see if they can turn two. And they do. Dent to Randolph the Shambles. Double play. Inning over. Gidry pitches out of the mini jam. We go to the top of the third. The Yankees still lead two to nothing. Matlack will be facing Mickey Rivers, Thurman Munson, and Reggie Jackson. Mickey Rivers 0 for 1 today. 
needs a 7-4-4 or better to reach safely. Here's the pitch for Matlack. That's a 7-2-6 out category to bump Wills. Ball goes off Wills' chest, but he recovers and throws to Hargrove for the out. One down. Thurman Munson steps to the place, plate. He's one for one. He singled his first time up. Munson needs a 6-6-3 or better to reach safely. Matlack delivers. Three oh two. That's out category. That ball's going to right field to Richie Zisk. It's a long run, but Zisk runs it down and makes the catch for out number two. Reggie Jackson steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Jackson would love to launch one here in Texas. For a home run for Reggie Jackson, needs a 9-7-8 or better. Here's the pitch to Mr. October. Reach safely is a 7-2-3 or better. That's a 4-1-3 out category toward the center fielder Juan Beniquez. He's there, and Beniquez makes the catch inning over. Go to the bottom of the third. The Yankees still lead Texas opening day 2 to nothing. Do up for the Rangers. Bump Wills, John Sunberg, and Mike Hargrove. Jim Sunberg, I'm sorry. So Bump Wills is at the plate. He needs a 7-3-5 or better to reach safely. Louisiana Lightning sets and delivers to Wills. And is promptly met with a double to center field as he burns Mickey Rivers to the gap. So a leadoff double by Bump Wills. Now up, the Rangers catcher Jim Sunberg. He had a pretty good year. He had 278 in 1978. And off left-handed pitchers 306 broke black man 94 says don't you hate it when the opposing team just gets bases loaded by walks and then all of a sudden a home run yes I do hate that <laughs> so Wills is at second base he's a threat to steal but I think we might just move him over though Jim Sunberg did hit left-handed pitching at 306, so we're going to let Sunberg swing away. He needs a 769 or better for a single, and the greater the number after that, the better the result. And to reach safely, a 688. Ron Guidry sets and delivers. That's a 376 out category to Nettles. Nettles dives, gets back up, and throws to Shambliss, robbing Sunberg of a possible double down the line. Wills stays at second base. He could not advance. One away. Now Mike Hargrove steps to the plate. Chance to knock in a, an RBI with Wills at second base. Hargrove struggled against left-handed pitching, only at 236. Hargrove needs a 7-4-9 or better to reach base safely. He's 0 for 1 today. Gidry gets the sign from Johnson. He sets and delivers the pitch. That's a 3-7-3 out category to Shambliss. He fields it and goes to the bag himself for out number 2. Wills advances the third. Two outs now. It's going to be up to Burt Campaneras to knock bump Wills in. Campy's 0 for 1. And Campy will need an 805 or better, which is in the single category, to knock in Wills from third. 724 or better with a dice roll, he will reach base safely. Gidry looking to pitch out of this GM here. Two outs, Wills at third. Here's the pitch. That's a 785. Campaneras works a walk. So runners at the corners here. Two outs. Gidry in a little bit of trouble here. And brings up Al Oliver. One of my favorite non-Red Sox players when I was a kid. Oliver's 0 for 1 today. It's a lefty-lefty matchup. Once again, Oliver had an outstanding year in 1978 at 324 and hit left-handed pitching at a 296 clip. So this is what the Rangers want. They want Oliver at the plate with a chance to knock in runners against the lefty Ron Gidry, and that's what they've gotten. Here's the pitch from Louisiana Lightning to Al Oliver. 
Can't capitalize, though. That's a 3-7-9 out category. Fly ball to center field. Rivers is there. He makes the catch. Inning over. The Rangers threaten but do not score. We go to the top of the fourth. The Yankees still lead 2 to nothing. Due up for the Yankees. Pinella, Johnson, and Chambliss. Lou Pinella steps in the batter's box. He's one for one today. Lefty-righty matchup here. Matt Lack sets in, delivers to Pinella. Pinella needs a 6-8 or better to reach safely. 5-2-2 two, two out category to the shortstop, Campaneras. And it's a line drive. Campaneras catches it for out number one. Cliff Johnson steps to the plate. He's 0-for-1 today, the Yankee catcher. He will need a 701 or better to reach base safely for a single, an 832 or better. Johnson awaits the pitch. Matt Lack delivers. Eight three four. Johnson singles into right field. So a one out single for Cliff Johnson, and it brings up the left handed hitting first baseman for the Yankees, Chris Shambliss. Shambliss had a good year against left-handed pitching. He had 289. One away. Johnson's at first. Not really a threat to steal here. As he does not have a good lead rating, it's only 14%, which means he would have to roll a dice of under 140. Hargrove holding Johnson on at first. Here's the pitch for Matlack to Shambliss, who needs a 687 or better to reach safely. That's a 3 five, eight out category. Fly ball out to Richie Zisk. It's a deep fly ball. Zisk continues to go back, and he makes the catch on the warning track. Retreating back to first base is Cliff Johnson. So there's two outs. Johnson at first, and now the third baseman for the Yankees, Greg Nettle, steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today with one run scored. Nettles needs a 7-1-4 or better to reach base safely. Two outs, Johnson at first. Matt Lack looking to get out of this inning. Sunberg flashes the sign. Here's the pitch for Matt Lack. Four, three, eight, out category. That's a fly ball going out to Al Oliver in left. He's there. He makes the catch, inning over. We go to the bottom of the fourth. The Yankees still lead the Rangers here in Texas. Two to nothing. Due up for the Rangers, Richie Zisk, Toby Hera, and Kurt Bavakwa. Richie Zisk steps in the batter's blocks. Zisk, right-handed batter versus the left-handed throwing Ron Guidry. 0 for 1 today, Zisk. He needs a 6, 9, 7 or better to reach base safely. For Zisk to go yard, 9, 5, 9 or better, and the ball will leave the ballpark. Here's the pitch by Guidry. The dice roll. 0-9-0. Zero, zero. That's a strikeout. Goes down looking. One down. Toby Harris steps to the plate. He's one for one today. Toby needs a 6-8-2 or better to reach safely. Ron Guidry gets the sign from Cliff Johnson. Here's the pitch to Toby Hara. And that's a 9-1-9, and that's going to be a single right up the middle. Rivers gets it and throws it back in towards the infield. So Toby Hare is on with one out. Hare is a threat to steal. He needs a, under a 390 to get his lead and then under an 800 to steal the base. So we're going to attempt to steal here. So the first roll needs to be under 390. And it's not. So Hare will not be able to attempt to steal. He'll stay put. So it'll be up to Kurt Pavakwa and knock him in now. Pavakwa needs a 7-5-3 or better to reach base safely. He walked his first time up. Here's the pitch from Guidry. That's a 7-4-8. That goes to Bucky Dent. It's a pop-up, and he calls for it and makes the catch. Two outs. Harris still at first, and it's going to be up to Juan Benitez to extend this inning. Benitez needs a 7-4-8 or better to reach base safely. A 7-7-4 or better will be a single, and it progresses to the higher the number, 
the better the result. Pair is at first. Here's the pitch to Beniquez. That's a 3-2-2, and that's going to be a fly ball out to Mickey Rivers. Let's see if he can make the catch. And he does. That's out number three. Inning over. After four, the Yankees still lead the Rangers here in Texas. Two to nothing. Do up for the Yankees. Dent, Randolph, and Rivers. Once again, we have Broke Black Man 94 in the chat. Moderator extraordinaire. Check out his channel, Broke Black Man 94. He does wonderful movie and TV reviews. Just go to my YouTube channel. He's under featured channels, or just type in Broke Black Man 94. So Bucky Dent to lead off for the Yankees. He's one for one with two RBIs. He had a two out. A uh, double that knocked in two runs in the top of the second. Dent needs a 7-2-5 or better to reach base safely. Matlack gets the sign from Sundberg. The windup and the pitch. The dice roll. We await the results. 4-5-5 lands in the out category to Campaneras. He fields the ground ball and throws over to Hargrove for out number one. Once again, just because a roll lands in the out category, most of the time it's going to be an out, but you have to wait to see if there's going to be a range play or an error. Willie Randolph steps to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Yankee second baseman needs a 6-2-6 or better to reach safely. Here's the windup and the pitch to Randolph. Dice rolls a 2-5-7 out category to the left fielder, Al Oliver, and he makes the catch. So there's two outs. It's up to Mickey Rivers to extend this inning. Mick the Quick is 0 for 2 today. And if he gets on base, he's a definitely base-stealing threat. Rivers needs a 7-4-4 or better. Though he only hit 227 off left-handed pitching as we have a lefty-lefty matchup here. The windup and the pitch to Mick the Quick. That's a 6-9-3 out category to Campaneras at short. Campaneras charges it. He throws to Hargrove for the out. Nice play by Campy. Inning over. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The Yankees still lead the Rangers here in Texas 2-0. Retro time, 1978. Opening day for the Yankees and Rangers. Do up for the Rangers. Bump Wills, Jim Sundberg, and uh, Mike Hargrove. Rangers trailing by two. Wills is one for one. The wind up and the pitch from Gidry. That's going to be a 1 6 5. That's a strikeout, a swing and a miss. So Gidry gets a K there. One away. Rangers catcher Jim Sundberg steps to the plate. 0 for 1. He will need a 688 or better to reach safely. Cliff Johnson flashes the sign. Gidry nods his head. The windup and the pitch by Gidry. And that's an 867. That's a single in the left field. So a one out single for Jim Sundberg. And wow, he has a really good lead possibility here. He needs a 950 or under to attempt the steal, and then under 480 to complete the steal. Mike Hargrove comes to the plate, and you know what? We're going to try to steal here. So we need under a 950. Here's the dice roll for the lead, and we get it. And now the dice roll for the steal. And Sundberg steals second as he rolls a 366, which is under his 480. So Sundberg with one out is in scoring position for Mike Hargrove. Hargrove looking to drive a run in here. Gidry finds himself in a bit of difficulty. One out. Runner at second. Hargrove will need an 867 or better to drive in Sundberg. A 749 or better to reach safely. Lefty, lefty matchup here. Gidry sets and delivers to Hargrove. That's a 4-1-3 out category to Nettles at third. High hopper. Nettles has it. Throws to Shambliss for out number two. Sunberg stays at second. 
could not advance, so it's two outs. It's going to be up to Burt Campy Campanaris to knock in Sunberg or extend this inning. Campy needs an 805 or better to knock in Sunberg. Sunberg will be off on contact with two outs. A 724 or better. And he will reach base safely. Anything under a 724 will most likely be an out. The windup and the pitch to Campanares. Sunberg at second. That's a 755. Campy works a walk. That's his second walk of the game. So first and second, and once again. This is who you want up to face Ron Guidry, Al Oliver. Al Oliver hit 296 off left-handed pitching in 1978. He has another opportunity here to drive in some runs. Two outs. Sundberg at second. Kempner is at first. Al Oliver at the plate. He wants a 795 or better for a hit. 775. He reaches base safely. Anything under a 775, most likely Al Oliver will be out and the inning will be over. Big moment here for the Rangers. The windup and the pitch to Oliver. And that's a 186 out category to Nettles. And it's a line drive. He jumps and makes the catch once again, robbing a Ranger hitter of a possible double down the line. Inning over. We go to the top of the sixth. Yankees two, Rangers nothing here in Texas. Do up for the Yankees. Munson, Jackson, and Pinella to face Matt Lack. Thurman Munson, one for two today, needs a 6-6-3 or better to reach base safely. Matt Lack sets and delivers. That's a 2-5-3 out category to bump Wills. Soft ground ball, Wills charges it, throws to Hardgrove for out number one. One away, Reggie Jackson steps to the plate. Power hitting right fielder, left-handed bat. 0 for two today, but at any moment could explode, though he... Only hit lefty-lefty matchups at a 243 clip. Much more successful against right-handed pitching. Matlack gets the sign, the wind-up, and the pitch to Jackson. 7-2-3 or better to reach safely. That's a 7-0-1 out category to Matlack. He scoops it up and throws over to Hardgrove for the out. So Pinella. I'm sorry, so Jackson grounds out to the pitcher. We have two outs. Lou Pinella steps to the plate, one for two with a run scored. And Matlack has faced 22 batters. His threshold is 32, as you can see here with that, 22 and 32. So he's still in good shape, except for the score. He's down 2 nothing. Pinella needs a 6-8 or better to reach safely. And if you're thinking home run for sweet Lou Pinella, a 9-8-7 or better. Here's the windup and the pitch to Sweet Lou. Two outs. No one on. 8-0-9. Pinella singles into right field. A lot of hits have gone to right field when the Yankees do get a hit, and that's the fifth Yankee hit today. So with two outs, Pinella's at first, brings up the catcher, Cliff Johnson. Johnson needs a 6-9-6 or better to reach safely. I don't think Pinella's a threat to steal here. Matt Lack. Looks over at Pinella at first. It's being held on by Mike Hargrove. Here's the windup and the pitch to Cliff Johnson. And Pinella's attempting to steal. He won't be able to do it. And Johnson will strike out on the 0-7-7 dice roll. Swing and a miss. Inning over. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Yankees still lead the Rangers here in Texas 2-0. Two up for the Rangers, Richie Zisk, Toby Hara, and Kurt Bavakwa. Rangers fans hope that sounds like a couple of runs there. Ron Guidry, his threshold is 31 batters. And he's only at 21 now, so he's in excellent shape. Zisk needs a 697 or better to reach safely. Louisiana Lightning gets the sign, the windup, and the pitch. 201, he strikes out Zisk. Big swing and a miss. One down. Toby Harris steps to the plate. He's had great success today against Ron Guidry. He's two for two. Like to be three for three. Harris needs a 6-8-2 or better to reach safely. Here's the pitch to Harris. 
290 out category to Reggie Jackson and right shallow fly ball. Jackson's there. He makes the catch for out number two. So it's up to Kurt Bavacqua to extend this inning. Texas designated hitter. Did not have a good year in 1978. He only hit 222 and only hit left-handed pitching at a 220 clip. He needs a 7-5-8 or better to reach safely. Here's the windup and the pitch to Babakwa. That's a 5-8-6. That's going to go to Bucky Dent. Dent ranges to his left. Throws to Shambliss. Inning over. One, <clears throat> excuse me, one, two, three, go the Rangers. We go to the top of the seventh. The Yankees still lead the Rangers two to nothing. Due up for the Yankees. Shambliss, Nettles, and Dent. Bucky Dent has knocked in the only two runs of this game. For Shambliss, 0 for 2 today off Matlack. Shambliss needs a 6-9-7 or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch for Matlack. That's a 6-3-5 out category. That's going to be a dribbler out in front. Sunberg fields it and throws the first. One away. Shambliss thrown out by the Texas catcher. Brings up Greg Nettles. He's 0 for 2 with one run scored. Nettles needs a 7-2-4 better to reach base safely. Home run numbers for Greg Nettles. 9-8-1 or greater. Here's the dice roll. The pitch for Matt Lack. That's a 4-8-3 out category. Ball goes to Bump Wills at second. He charges it. Throws to Hargrove, and that's out number two. Nice play by Wills. Bucky Dent steps to the plate. One for two today. RBI. He had a two RBI double in the top of the second with two outs. Bucky Dent needs a 7-2-5 or better to reach base safely. The windup and the pitch for Matlack. That's a 2-3-1 out category. Fly ball out to Richie Zisk. It's a shallow fly ball. Zisk is there. He makes the catch. Inning over. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. The Yankees still leading the Rangers here in Texas. Two to nothing. Due up for the Texas Rangers. Juan Beniquez, Bump Wills, and Jim Sunberg. Beniquez is 0 for 2 today. He needs a 7-5-3 or better to reach base safely. Gidry gets the sign from Cliff Johnson. The windup and the pitch. That's a 9-4-6. That's going to be a double into the left center field gap. Rivers chases it down. But Beniquez is on second base with no outs. And Bump Wills comes to the plate. He's one for two today. Opportunity for a run batted in here for Bump. Though his bunting is 85%, which means... He can move Beniquez over with a dice roll of under 8-5-0. On deck. Who's on deck? Jim Sunberg. Okay. Should we bunt him over? We're going to bunt Beniquez over. So... We're going to sacrifice Bunt here, attempt to do that. We need... Bump Wills will need to roll under an 8-5-0, so here's the Bunt attempt. That's a 4-2-7. It's a very good Bunt. They'll throw Wills out at first, but Beniquez advances to third with one out. And now the Yankees have moved their infield in. Wow. So they're not going to, they're not going to give this run up lightly. But with the infield in, Jim Sunberg comes to the plate, and he hit left-handed pitching, as I stated early, quite well in 1978. 306 average. With the infield in, he has a better chance to get it through. He just doesn't want to hit it at anybody. So, he needs for a hit 719 or better. To reach base safely, 638 or better. The windup and the pitch from Ron Guidry to Jim Sunberg. Beniquez at third, one away. 
That's a 1-4-9, and Gidry rears back and strikes out Sunberg. Sunberg goes down looking. Wow. So now there's two outs. Yankee infield goes back to normal. Benitez still at third. Some clutch pitching right there by Ron Gidry. That's why he went 25-3 in 1978. So it's up to Mike Hargrove to knock in Benitez from third. Hargrove... Let's see, let's go to our bench here and see who we have for pinch hitters. Is there anyone who hits left-handed pitching better than Mike Hargrove? No, not really. Our best pinch hitter off the bench against lefties is Jim Mason, and he only has a 200 average. Hargrove has a 236 average, so we'll cancel that idea. So it's going to be up to Mike Hardgrove, the human rain delay, to knock in Benitez from third. Two outs. Gidry looking to pitch out of this jam. Yankees lead 2 to nothing here in the bottom of the seventh. The windup and the pitch to Hardgrove, who needs a 8-6-7 or better to knock in Benitez, a 7-4-9 or better to reach base safely. The dice rolls 7-2-0. Out category to Shambliss. He fields the ball, goes to the bag himself for the out. Inning over. Threat averted. Yankees still lead 2 to nothing as we go to the top of the eighth. Due up for the New York Yankees, Willie Randolph, Mickey Rivers, and Thurman Munson. Hello, Beatles Eternally, who's jumped into the chat. How you doing? It's a good game. It's close. It's not too late yet. I'm managing the Texas Rangers trying to defeat the evil empire of the New York Yankees. So Willie Randolph steps in the batter's box. He is 0 for 3 today. He needs a 6-2-6 6 or better to reach base safely. Matlack has pitched a wonderful game. He's only given up two runs in that second inning with two outs. He gave up that double to Bucky Dent that knocked in two. Matlack's still under his threshold. He's only faced 27 batters. He can go to 32 and a little bit past that. Here's the pitch to Randolph. That's a 306 out category to center field. Benitez, it's a line drive. Benitez trying to run it down. He reaches up and makes the catch. Randolph is out. Nice catch by Juan Benitez. One away, Mickey Rivers steps to the plate. He's 0 for 3. Matt Lack working quickly. Rivers needs a 7-4-4 or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch. That's an 808. That's a single right up the middle. So a one-out single, Mickey Rivers is definitely a threat to run. Again, he'll probably, the first, if he attempts to steal, the first dice roll needs to be under 3-6-0. If it is, then the second dice roll needs to be under 8-3-0. So when I click pitch, we're going to see what happens. Thurman Munson is at the plate. He's a designated hitter. He's 1-3. for three. Munson to reach base safely needs a 6-5-8, but I think Rivers will be stealing, so I'm going to click pitch, and let's see what happens here. So Munson was swinging away. Rivers stayed put. It's a hard line drive. Campaneros makes the catch. Rivers gets back to first. So Munson swinging away. They didn't even attempt to have Mickey Rivers steal. Lines out to Burt Campaneros at short. So two outs, Rivers at first. It's up to Mr. October to try to extend this Yankee lead here in the top of the eighth with two outs. Hargrove is holding Rivers on. If you're thinking about a home run dice roll for Reggie Jackson, he needs a 9-7-8 or better, reaching safely 7-1-3 or better. The windup and the pitch for Matlack. So Rivers tried to steal. He couldn't get the jump. And now the dice roll for the hit. It's a 5-9-4 out category to bump Wills. He backhands it. Wills throws to Hargrove. Inning over. Nice play by bump Wills there. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Rangers trailing by two. Due up for the Texas Rangers, Burt Campaneras, Al Oliver, and Richie Zisk. This is the portion of the lineup that needs to do the damage. 
Guidry so far has faced 28 batters out of the 31, which is his threshold, but I think he can go past that 31. So Campanera steps to the plate. He's 0 for 1. He's walked twice. They need to get a base runner on to bring the tying run to the plate. Campy needs a 7-2-4 or better to reach safely. Here's the pitch from Guidry. That's a 2-5-9 out category. That's a fly ball out to Mickey Rivers, and he makes the catch. One away. Al Oliver steps to the plate. He's come up a couple of times with runners in scoring position and could not knock them in. 0 for 3 today. Guidry now 29 batters faced out of the 31. Oliver needs a 7.75 or better to reach base safely, but he's looking for a big high number in the 900s to do more damage. Here's the pitch to Oliver. That's a 1.88, and that's going to be a fly ball out to Rivers again. And Rivers runs it down for out number two. So two outs, no one on. It's going to be up to Richie Zisk, who struggled today. 0 for 3. Again, Zisk wants a really high number in the 900s. To get on base safely, though, 6.97 or better. Righty-lefty matchup here. Gidry the lefty versus the right-hand batting Richie Zisk. Zisk did pat 275 off left-handed pitching in 1978. Louisiana Lightning gets the sign from Cliff Johnson. The windup and the pitch. 293 out category. That's a fly ball out to Jackson. It's very deep. Jackson keeps going back, keeps going back. He makes the running catch and bangs into the wall. Inning over. We go to the top of the ninth. Yankees lead the Rangers two to nothing. What a catch by Reggie Jackson. Due up for the Yankees, Pinella, Johnson, and Chambliss. Hoping to extend this New York Yankee lead. Lou Pinella two for three today. One run scored. Matlack now 31 batters faced out of the 32. So he's, this next batter, he will reach his threshold. Pinella needs a 680 or better to reach base safely. Sunberg flashes the sign. Matlack nods his head. The windup and the pitch to sweet Lou Pinella. Four, two, four, out category. That's a fly ball to Richie Zisk. Very deep. Zisk continues to go back, and he makes the catch on the warning track. One away. Cliff Johnson steps the plate. Johnson's one for three. Needs a 7-0-1 or better to reach base safely. Matlack is now at his threshold. This will be... Johnson will put him over his threshold, but Matlack still looks strong. Here's the pitch. That's a 4-4-2 out category to Campanera's at short. Hard ground ball. Campy fields it and throws over to Hardgrove for the out. Good strong throw by Burke Campanera's. Two outs, no one on. Chris Chambliss steps to the plate. The Yankee first baseman's 0 for 3 today. Lefty-lefty matchup. Matlack is now 33. Batter's face. He's one over his limit. Chambliss needs a 6-9-7 or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch to Chambliss. The dice roll. We await the result. That's an 800. That's a single right up the middle. So a two-out single. And I'll bring up Greg Nettles. Greg Nettles is 0 for 3 today. Some milling going around in the Rangers' bullpen now. Shambliss, not really a threat to run, though they might attempt it. Nettles needs a 7-1-4 or better to reach base safety. Though he wants something in the 900s to drive in Shambliss. He wants to hit a gap here. He wants a grip and rip. Here's the pitch to Nettles. Shambliss at first. Chambliss gets the lead. He's off. He's trying to steal. And he's in. Is he safe? No! He's out! Wow, I thought he was in there, but Sunburn guns him down, inning over. Chambliss was not too happy with the call. Neither was a Yankee dugout. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Due up for the Rangers. They need two runs to tie the game, three to win it. 
and but they'll be facing the closer for the Yankees, Goose Gossage, as he makes his way to the mound. Gossage will be facing Toby Hara, Kurt Bavacqua, and Juan Beniquez. Gossage, a flame-throwing right-hander. Gossage in 1978, 10 wins, 11 losses, 27 saves. And his ERA 2.01. All right. Toby Harris steps to plate. Righty righty matchup. Hara only hit 228 off right handed pitching. Once again, let's go to our bench here and see who we have. For right handed batters off the bench. Bobby Thompson, 239. We have a really weak bench, <laughs> the Rangers do. Well, we're just going to stick with Toby Hara. He's two for three today. Let's see what he can, what he can do with uh, Rich Goose Gossage. Hara handled Gidry pretty well. Hara needs a 7-3-4 or better to reach base safely, which would bring the tying run to the plate. Gossage sets and delivers. 4-1-8, out category. That's a fly ball out to Jackson. Jackson's there. He makes the catch for out number one. Yankees two outs away from victory here in opening day 1978 in Texas. Retro replay using digital diamond baseball, who my good friend Beatles eternally introduced me to. Love the game. I also play action PC baseball and out of the bar, uh, out of the ballpark baseball. All fun games. Bunch of videos on my channel. Check them out if you want. All right, Kurt Pavakwa steps to the plate. He's 0 for two. He's walked once. Pretty much, I believe Gidry will overpower him. Pavakwa needs an 800 or better to reach base safely, and I think this time we're gonna go to a pinch hitter. There's got to be someone who has a better chance of getting on base. Okay, righty matchup here. Let's go to the bench coach. I like this. You click on bench coach. So we see Kurt Pavacqua here, but we're going to change it from Kurt Pavacqua to... Um, oh, we have John Lowenstein. He didn't have a good year, though. We have switch hitter Bobby Thompson. Let's click on Bobby Thompson. So you see, chance of getting on base for Bobby Thompson, 7.56 or better. So I, I'm liking that better. Ooh, we got Claudel Washington. Let's click on Claudel. 760. That's a little bit worse. We have LaRue Washington. 731. Not so good. Let's check out Lowenstein. 682. 682. That's pretty good. Jorgensen. 710. Mason. 790. So Bobby Thompson was 756. We're going to go with John Lowenstein. See, I sure went with my first gut reaction because John Lowenstein was a pretty good player. All right, we're going to go with Lowenstein. Okay. So Lowenstein will come in to pinch it for Kurt Bavacqua. Lowenstein, the lefty, to face the right handed Rich Gossage. But we only hit 222 in 1978, but he has. A much better chance of getting on base. 6-8-2 and above, and he gets on base. The windup and the pitch from Gossage. One out, no one on. And that's a 5-5-4. Five, five, that's going to be a fly ball out to Pinella. It's a shallow fly ball. Pinella comes in. He makes the catch. Two outs. So it's going to be up to Juan Benitez to extend this inning and keep hope alive for the Texas Rangers. Goose Gossage and the New York Yankees one out away from an opening day victory here in Texas. Beniquez one for three. And actually, the Yankees have put in Jim Spencer at first base, who's a little better defensively than Chris Chambliss, as he only has a 1% chance of making an error. Let's see, everything else is the same defensively. So, Spencer did come in the top of the ninth. I missed that. I apologize. So, two outs, no one on. It's up to Juan Beniquez, who needs a 7-7-4 or better to reach base safely. Here's the pitch from Gossage. 6-6-2. Six, six, that ball's going out to Pinella. It's a deep fly ball. Pinella 
Gets there though, he makes the catch, this ball can't over. As the Rangers fans boo, they can boo all they want. They're losers on opening day to the New York Yankees, 2-0. Let's quickly go to the box score. Let's go to the pitching first. Ron Guidry, the winning pitcher, he went eight innings for the Yankees, only gave up five hits, no runs, walked three, struck out four. Rich Gossage came in the ninth, pitched one clean inning, three up, three down, he earns the save. For the Texas Rangers, John Matlack should have fared better. Nine innings he pitched, seven hits, two runs. Neither of them were earned because it was an error. That, made, that extended the inning so Bucky Dent could hit that two-out, two-run double. Didn't walk any, struck out three. Matt Lack, a hard luck loser. Offensive player of the game, Bucky Dent. Dent doubled in the top of the second with two outs, knocking in the only two runs of the ball game, thus the Yankee victory. Lou Pinella also had two hits for the Yankees. The Yankees in total only had seven hits. The hits came from Mickey Rivers, Thurman Thomas, two from Pinella, one from Cliff Johnson, one from Shambliss, and one from Bucky Dent. The Texas Rangers totaled only five hits, two of them coming from Toby Hera. And then Beniquez, Wills, and Sunberg. So once again from Texas Stadium. 1978 retro replay using digital diamond baseball. The New York Yankees win on opening day 2 to nothing. The winning pitcher, Ron Guidry. The save goes to Rich Goose Gossage. The losing pitcher, the tough luck, hard luck, loser, however you want to put it, John Matlack. 2 nothing victory for the Yankees. This is Al Red Sox fan saying thank you very much. And I'd like to thank in the chat, Broke Black Man 94, my moderator extraordinaire for jumping in there. Remember to check out Broke Black Man 94's channel. It's a wonderful channel. Also to thank Beatles Eternally, who turned me on to this game. It's a very fun game. It's $20. There's a free demo. You can download it off Digital Diamond Baseball. It's a website if you want. You can play a couple, you can play three inning games to see if you like the feel of it. For $20, there's a lot of things you can do with this game. I like it. I like it. it's a different type of game style. I also play action PC baseball and out of the par out of the ballpark baseball. I love them all. So big baseball fan. So thank you very much. It's Al Red Sox fan saying if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe if you want. But most of all, come back, jump in the chat, share your thoughts on baseball, and also leave them in the comments below. Till next time, see you soon. Take care. Bye bye. God bless.